What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're out at the charity shops looking for some more bits. Um, but today, a little bit different, I'm gonna be paying off, hopefully, my MOT bill for my car. I know it's gonna cost roughly 250, 300 pounds, so I'm gonna see, uh, with the work done, if I can pay for it using the stuff that I find today in the charity shop. So let's get into it, see what we find. I've got my trusty burger on hand today, looking gorgeous in this spring sunshine. Here we are, first one. Never mind, that's a good start. Next up, this one's usually pretty expensive, but some decent bits, so let's see. First find, look at this. Beautiful Navika fleece cap, one pound, I'll take that. First shot down, and what do we think? Nice little find, sort of trapper style. Um, really cool, sort of adjustable back on this, sort of slides up and down. But I have just come across two pairs of nice Berghaus popper trousers, so they're always about 25 pound each, so the three pound should be pretty good. Couple of good trousers found in that one, and then another one directly opposite. <laughs> Here's today's joke item. Um, definitely not a Nike tee. This is quite a nice, cool graphic tee, front and back. Really nice print, a little embroidered logo there. It's only a pound, so it should be about 15, 20 on that one. Oh, that's a nice bottle. Quite a nice little find this one. A little Nike crossbody shoulder bag. Um, but I'm a little bit concerned because I think it says it's nine quid. Um, and I don't really want to be paying quite that much because they probably only go for about 20, maybe 25 tops. Nice 90s nice tag, little swoosh there, but I don't think it's worth nine quid. We'll see what they say. All right, that's it for this town. I did manage to get the night bag in the end. I got down to seven pound instead of nine, so a little bit happier. They do go for about 25 pound in summer. So yeah, some good bits picked up. I've definitely paid for the MOT at least. It's just things like that, man. If you can pay for little everyday tasks just from this, then that's good enough. Uh, probably work is gonna cost a little bit more. So yeah, might hit up another town and see what we find there as well. Right, good morning. Welcome back to another glorious day. Um, unfortunately, the news I received this morning wasn't so glorious. It is now time to pick my car up, but my rough estimate from 250 has basically doubled. It's going to cost about 460 to replace uh, all the parts on it. So yeah, I'm going to have to find some more bits to see if we can make anywhere near that amount. So I've just found these all together. Quite a nice Oliver Spencer shirt, three pound. This YMC one, three pound again, and then a couple of folk shirts both three pounds as well. I'll probably leave the folks because they're only looking about 15 pounds. Um, but these ones are about 25, 30 each, so we'll pick those up. So I think I just struck gold with this one. Really, really nice Tommy Hilfiger gilet fleece lined. And I think it's also reversible by the looks of it. We'll have a little look later, but 9.99 top end. It should still be about 40 pound on that. Right, well, that's a new one for me. I've just dropped off a couple of parcels in a pub at the post office. I've never seen that before. Um, but yeah, I think that's it now. Um, probably gonna call it a wrap there because I've got no money left after paying for the car. So we'll see what we can get from everything that we bought and see what it totals up at. All right, and we're back a couple of weeks later just because I wanted to give everything a little bit of a chance to sell through on eBay. Uh, but as you can see, we picked up some really good bits in the end. But the real question is just how close did we get to matching our target that we needed to repair the car. All right, so the first item to sell was that lovely dark green striped Oliver Spencer shirt. We paid three pound on it, and as you can see, went for 40 pound. Um, so within about 10, 15 minutes of me listing it, so I wasn't sure if I listed it too cheap, but looking around comps they were going for, that was sort of top end anyway. So really happy with that, 40 pound on the first one. Then we had a really nice dark blue cool graphic t-shirt front and back spill out that went for 18 pound and we only paid a quid on that so again very good return 17 pound profit from that one then the next two items basically followed each other out the door there were those two pairs of Berghaus trousers went for a lot more than I was expecting on those the AQ2 ones went for 35 pound and the Hydra shells went for 45 so combined uh, so it was 80 pound on those and they only cost six pound per pair so really really good return on those um, but I think it's because that whole sort of gulp core phase that's going around at the moment, but that whole, you know, Quicksilver, Surfwear, Skatewear, stuff like that always does really well. So very happy with that. The next item I picked up was actually off camera. I kind of regretted picking it up, to be fair, as soon as I bought it. Um, it was this Jersey's graphic t-shirt with sort of like a touristy slogan on it for BBC Radio Suffolk. I thought it was sort of thing that might sell. And 
but I got fiver for it. So again, a little bit of profit on that. One pound into five pound isn't to be sniffed at and every little helps, I suppose. I'm actually surprised this next item sold, but I guess it's so wacky someone's just like, yeah, I'll take that. And that whole sort of trapper style is in. So it is this Navika fleece line cap. It was a really nice one to be fair. Had a lovely sort of adjustable sliding back on it, um, which I haven't seen on too many caps. It's not that common. But again, we paid a pound for that in the first pickup um, and I went for 12 pound in the M plus postage. And then the last eBay sale was that pretty nice uh, women's mountain equipment gilet. It cost three pound on that one and that went for 34.99 in the end. So yeah, that was it for eBay. We did have one more sale actually that happened at the pop-up the other week. It was that lovely Tommy Hilfiger reversible fleece body warmer thing. Um, that cost £10, it was top end, but it did go for 45 It was up at £50 on eBay, but you know, students, you got to cut a little bit of slack there. So yeah, happy with that. Again, £35 profit. I knew it wouldn't last too long. Now onto the bits that didn't sell, starting off with this 90s Nike um, crossbody bag. Picked up for £7 in the end. I'm quite surprised it didn't go, to be honest. But I guess it's not festival season yet, not quite summer. So it'll probably sell within the next month. If it doesn't, it's gonna be hard for me not to keep it. I might hold on to this one. Uh, but yeah, seven pound, it was up at 35. So still waiting for that one to go. Now moving on to a couple of shirts, starting off with this quite nice blue YMC, good quality cotton one. I paid three pound for it. I had it up at around 19.99. Uh, most of them were going for around about that amount anyway, 20 25 pounds. So, not quite sure why it didn't sell, but I'm sure it will in the future. Second shirt was this pretty basic Ralph Lauren blue check one. I paid a pound for this at the same time as I picked up the Jersey Slogan t shirt. Um, had it up around 19 99 It didn't sell. They sell around from anywhere from 16 to 25 even. And then the last item that I picked up once again off camera was this pair of Jimmy Choo pumps or flats, I don't know what you call them. They're black suede, they're very nice, they cost £2. Um, I didn't get a chance to record because the woman in the shop was watching me like a hawk. Probably thought it was weird, I was in the women's shoe section. But yeah, £2 on those. I had them up for £74.99, previously at £84.99. Um, still didn't sell. Um, so I'm not really sure how much these really go for. They have a fair bit of wear on the heels there. Um, so I might drop them down to 60 in the future, but again, really good price for those. So in the end, did we make enough to actually pay off the MOT and the damage? Not quite, but we came pretty close. Everything that we picked up stock-wise came to £38, and then the damage, the MOT, cost 427 so that's 465 total. Everything that we sold came to 235 which I think is pretty respectable for just two mornings work. If everything did sell, that'd probably come to around £400 odd, I reckon. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Just goes to show that you can actually earn a decent living from this. Not loads, but just enough to get by. Um, so a few more pieces in there, I reckon we probably would have made the cut. But yeah, thank you guys for watching again. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.